His goal to help preserve this art form while creating jobs for poor students and orphans. In the district of Prasad Bakong in Simri province, Nyak Sarai Rotane has been running a leather carving shop for 20 years. After being an apprentice for four years and working as a leather craftsman for another additional five years, he finally launched his own shop in 2001 with two main goals in mind. One is to support his brother who was studying at university at the time. And secondly, to create jobs for the poor or orphans like himself. Sarai Rotane intended to pursue his goals while keeping alive one of Cambodia's most famous traditions by designing spike tome leather puppets, also known as shadow puppets. It is one of Cambodia's most famous art forms, and it is included in the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. Since Cambodia's art includes shadow puppet theater, Serai Rotane's shop produces two types of leather carving artworks, which are shadow puppets and furnishings. The procedure to make this art form is fairly long. Traditionally, it starts with cleaning the animal skin before it can be carved or drawn upon. First of all, after the leather is purchased, the fat and blood must be removed thoroughly from the skin by using boiling water and tree bark. Most importantly, in order to get a good quality leather for carving, the skin of the animal must be used under 12 hours after it is being slaughtered. This technique is commonly known as the killing leather method, which is used to clear fatigue smells and blood from the animal's skin. Secondly, the leather must be dried under the sun before being placed in storage for three months or even longer to maximize the quality of the leather. Finally, once the leather is ready, then the craftsman lays it on a flat surface and proceeds to draw the intricate and beautiful figures onto the leather. When he started his business, Serai Rotane could only accept five students from poor households. Three years later, he can accommodate up to 55 students as his business began to expand. Throughout his entrepreneurship, one of the most surprising things happened to him. That one time, a tourist handed him a thousand dollars. This money was for him to supply food for his students. With that donation, he expressed it happily that he was able to provide as many up to 70 students. This place is like a school, Sarai Rotana stated. We accept orphans, poor, young, and children from the worst families. We give them a chance to learn and eventually to make a living. Moreover, teaching and training in the art of letter carving also helps to safeguard our culture. In this vocational training center, Serai Rotana expressed it that students are taught of multiple skills such as leather preparation, management, designing, carving, 
and they are even taught to produce letter carving tools. Furthermore, students are also exposed to business management skills, so that they have the knowledge to one day run their own businesses in the future. They also have English and Chinese languages classes to help them with their communication skills as well. As his business keeps on growing, Serai Rotana's life changes dramatically. He went from being a poor orphan to an entrepreneur who helps in sustaining one of Cambodia's culture. He is also a teacher, a trainer for young people, and a helper. For them to earn a living, I am proud of myself," he said. "Before people used to look down on me, now I have become a valuable person. When I go out in public, people would recognize me and address me as a teacher. This encourages me and pushes me to try harder to help and protect my traditional culture."